welcome back to Backstage Blackpool and the most amazing collection of vintage vehicles you'll ever see. And you can catch up on all of this in a future programme. Check out our website for more details. For one talented entertainer, this town has been his theatrical home for over two decades and is more popular than ever. It can only be the amazing Ken Webster. Visiting Blackpool can be a dangerous pastime. Imagine meeting a man who can see into your mind, who can bend your mind to his will and make you do what he wishes. All right, perhaps that's a little over the top, but then this man is legendary stage hypnotist Ken Webster. What is hypnosis? Hypnosis is an altered state of awareness. Everybody's got a conscious mind and a subconscious mind. Your conscious mind is the one that's awake now. Your subconscious, one, subconscious mind is the one that's at the back of your head. And what I do is relax the conscious mind so that I can bring forward the subconscious mind and just program the subconscious mind as to where that I want it to act. Is he a saint or is he a sinner? You'll have to decide for yourself. But Ken has been entertaining audiences at Blackpool's Pleasure Beach for over two decades. Good evening, Blackpool. Good evening. How are you all doing? All right. Lovely. Ken's show is for over 18s only and can get quite racy at times, so there's a limit to what we can show you. You're not Paddy. You're not a soldier. You're Paddy, the soldier. Yes. The show is a mixture of trickery and hypnotism, with the first half that leaves you wondering how did he do that, and a second half that headlines his signature hypnotism act. <laughs> Members of the audience volunteer to go up on stage, and the end result is raunchy, rude and hilarious. Okay, coming back, people keep coming through the door, so... As long as they keep coming through the door, so will I. But 23 years is a long time. Ken is a great supporter of Blackpool and every week makes the long journey from his home in Scarborough over to the West Coast and the Pleasure Beach. But he's a great favourite and even early in the season, there's a good turnout. We sent our very own James Ray to find out just what goes on backstage at the Ken Webster Show and find out just what makes Ken tick. So why Blackpool? Why is it? Why is what's what's the attraction for Blackpool for you? Oh, come on, where else is there to go in this country? That you can have so much fun, you know. Where else can you go? You've got five theatres. You've got the Pleasure Beach. You've got the Sea Life Centre. You've got the Zoo. You've got Louis de Swords. You've got the Tower. You've got all the amusements, and you've got the traditional old seaside fish and chips and all the rest of it. Uh, where else is that you can go? So um, hypnotism. Tell me about hypnotism. A lot of people think it's a lot of Jibbery pokery, a bit of fakery. Is it or isn't it? Oh well, no, because it's like I always say to people, you know, people say, oh, well, you've paid them. Because you get regular people coming all the time. You get people coming every week and they want to get up on stage. They love being hypnotized, hypno addicts or hypno tramps, as we call them. Um, in a nice sense, not in a, in a horrible way, you know. Uh, but they like, to, they like to get up. But um, for example, I, do, I used to do Dubai four times a year. I used to go out there for three. I've done Hong Kong, I've done Singapore. I've done the States. What am I going to do? Pay for people to come with me, you know? People look at it and say, oh, you know, that's rubbish. He's paid that person to get up there. But we generally haven't. And if you are a doubter, get up on stage yourself and have a go. Um, it's not like mediums and spiritualism, you know, which just preying on people's emotions strongly against that. Hypnotism is a fun form of entertainment. How hard is it to actually hypnotise somebody? It depends on the person. Some people are easy to hypnotise and some people are difficult to hypnotise. Is it a hard process to learn to actually become a hypnotist? Uh, to become a hypnotist? No, it's very easy to learn. Uh, but being an entertainer is something you can't learn. Being an entertainer yeah. is something that you're born with. So were you born an entertainer? Uh, I must have been. Uh, I was always the centre of attention at school. I was always the one that was getting thrown out for doing impressions of teachers. I was always the one that was getting thrown out for messing around or telling jokes or not taking things seriously because I've never believed in taking things seriously. There's no point. But my granddad had a circus of performing pygmies. Um, <laughs> oh, it's true. Sorry, he, did. Sorry. he had a circus of performing pygmies. <laughs> he was a right half a daily, was my granddad. And uh, he had all these pygmies and he used to tour them around. You know, in the old, old fairground days, yeah. he had all these little performing pygmies. Then he had a flea circus, so, which he could get away with, like, in the early 1900s or whenever it was he used to do it. So 
Yeah, the granddad of the circus <laughs> and performing pygmies. <laughs> so maybe I get it from him, I don't know. Blackpool Pleasure Beach has been entertaining people for over a century, and it's the perfect venue for a show like Ken's. He holds a record for the longest running show here. I'd just like to ask you, are you married? I am. She's a big Elvis fan, is Tara. She's a huge Elvis fan, so we got married in Graceland in, in Elvis's yard, in his, in his back shed um, <laughs> in Graceland. So we got married there and then had some time in Vegas, then we had a party upstairs for our family and friends. So. Yeah, two and a half years. I've got <laughs> to say, you know, um, having a, a partner in this business, you've got to have a really understanding partner. And my wife, I mean, I'm not blowing smoke, but I mean, I have got the most understanding wife in the world. She's absolutely brilliant. I couldn't ask for anybody better. She's the best, most understanding wife in the world. We asked 30 people to come up here on stage and name sort of their three favourite things, okay? It could be where they like to go on holiday, it could be their favourite hobby, it could be anything. Tonight's show is all about having fun, and Hello. Ken is going to amaze, baffle and astound his audience. Take one of them out of there, alright? Take one of them out of there, darling. Okay, that's it, you've got one. Oh, and keep an eye out for that young lad in the orange t-shirt. He's in for quite a night. I'm going to leave him for someone special. <laughs> Ken's show has an adult edge, and it's a decision he's happy with. I was the first adult hypnotist in the country. When I got into it 30 years ago, hypnosis was just old men with goatee beards and doll medallions <laughs> sticking people to chairs. And I thought, there's got to be a way around this. You know, there's, there's got to be another niche. So I started doing the adult stuff. Now, when I say the adult stuff, I don't have women stripping off stark naked, I don't have any sexual connotations, I don't do any of that sort of stuff. There's a very fine line between being outrageous and being offensive, and you've got to know where to draw the line. Sweetheart, can you come over to that? It's an English dictionary, okay? There you go. Sorry? She's Irish. That's not a novel, that's a dictionary. It's worth pointing out that everyone who gets up on stage has volunteers, and there's no pressure to do so. You can just sit and watch if you'd rather. She's drawn. Okay. There we go. Now. And I drew exactly the same. All right, so. <laughs> In the first act, Ken gathers words, numbers, and all kinds of odd bits and pieces, and then magically ties it all together somehow. The audience have no idea how he does it, and neither do our film crew, who can watch it back again Five, afterwards. 15, 67, 14, 36, 19, 8, 67, 34, 7, 4, 2, 14, and 12 is also 67, the number that you have in your head. That's very good to me. It's, it's making people make decisions that they wouldn't normally make. Um, I sort of influence them by subliminal talk. Um, I watch people's facial expressions to tell if they're lying, you know. Um, is tell when people are lying. However he does it, the result is amazing and there's still the hypnotism to come. Outrageous comedy hypnotist, Mr. Ken Webster! Uh, thank you very much. Oh, it's on this time, is it? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, once again, good evening! It's a bit like physical karaoke, really. Right. People can get up on stage, uh, be somebody that they would like to be, but in real life aren't. But I'm the excuse as to why that person is acting the way they are. There's no shortage of volunteers to take to the stage. And remember Kevin, the lad in the orange t-shirt? He's about to have a real roller coaster ride. <laughs> I, I, it's everybody from the island tonight. Even something as simple as remembering your own name can get a bit complicated in this show. Dino, Mark, Kevin, Michael, and Kevin. It's not any. It's not any, please. All right, all right. I'm sorry, I've got your name wrong. What's your name? Potato. All right. <laughs> Then there's the dancing, the stripping, and quite a few things we can't show you here. 
Aí eu mente, né? No. Well, quite a lot, actually. There's no doubt the audience have loved it. And as for poor Kevin, well, I guess he'll still be there next week. In fact, he might be there all season. Brilliant, but it was brilliant. Amazing. I've never laughed so much in my life. It's just so funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just so funny. Ah, he's a good man. A good laugh. But now it's a really brilliant night. Well worth it. Um, we'll do it again any time. Yeah. People pay to see me because they know it's Ken Webster. Yeah, he uses a bit of bad language. And yeah, he gets people doing all sorts of stuff, you know. But like I said, the fine line between being outraged and being offensive. Okay, so Kevin's fine, and perhaps we should let him have the last word. Brilliant, thanks. But well, well, I can remember, anyway. <laughs> it's strange because a lot of the time you, you can hear the comments being made, and you, you know what's going on, but you just you can't. You just can't control yourself. It's hard, hard to explain. That was a great night, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. I have to come back and watch the actual show now. been watching Backstage Blackpool and that's it for this show but we'll be back with another show very soon. In the meantime don't forget to check out our website. See you soon. Now where do I go to get a bus around here? <laughs>